The first lesson of Linear Systems Unit is graphical solutions of linear systems. Just to remember, there are three methods of graphing linear relationships by hand. Uh, we can make a table of values, and we've reviewed how to graph from slope y-intercept form. And you can also find x and y-intercepts, and that helps you graph a line as well. So a linear system is just when you have more than one line on a graph. So it could be two lines on a graph or three lines on a graph. So we're still going to use our graphing skills, but instead we're going to graph two lines on a graph at once. And this is called a linear system. That's why it's called a system. So when you have two lines, most of the time on a graph they're going to cross somewhere. And this is called the point of intersection. So for this graph that we see here, the point of intersection is where the two lines cross. And that ordered pair, remember ordered pairs are always x and then y, that ordered pair is over 3 and up 4. So the solution it's called, we want to use the word solution to the linear system, which means there are two lines on a graph, the solution here is 3, 4. And this is how we're going to write our answer. So example one, just to review a little bit of graphing. Example one, find the point of intersection by solving the linear system graphically. Okay, what that really means is graph the two lines and see where they cross. It's called solving. We're going to solve the linear system. Um, just trying to find out the point of intersection. So the first line you can see is not in slope y-intercept form yet. So what we need to do, we need to put that equation into slope y-intercept form. So most of us, I think, are leaving the y term where it is, and we're moving the x and the 4 to the opposite side of the equal sign. When you do, the terms then change signs. So positive x becomes negative x, and positive 4 becomes negative 4. The problem with that, though, is that this is still negative y. So this is not in the, in the form y equals mx plus b yet we would have to divide all of the terms by negative 1. And when you do, um, the two negatives cancel each other out, and we get y equals x plus 4. So putting that on a graph, so we go to 4, and then the slope, remember, if the slope isn't written in, it's 1 over 1. So that means from 4, we have to go up 1 and write 1. And we kind of continue the pattern so that we get a really nice straight line. You want it to be very precise. So we can graph the line. It looks something close to that. Remember to always put um, arrows at the end of your lines because it goes on and on forever. And label the line with your equation. As well, if your graph that you're using doesn't have an x and a y on the axes, then you should label that as well. For the second equation, this equation here is already in y equals mx plus b form. So we need to just go to the 2. The slope, remember, is negative 1 over 1. So down 1, right 1, down 1, right 1. And we want to make sure that we get it nice and straight. And that is what the second line would look like. And we always label it with the equation negative x plus 2. And this question said to find the point of intersection by solving, so solve this. And therefore, what we see is that the ordered pair, the point where the two lines cross, is negative 1, 3. So we would write, therefore, the solution is negative 1, 3. Example two, find the point of intersection by solving again. So we need to graph each line again. So the first equation is not too tough to make that look like it's in slope y-intercept form. We would have to bring the 3x and the negative 3 to the opposite side of the equal sign. We would go to 3, and that would be the y-intercept. So that part's done. And then down 3, and remember always over 1. If you don't have a run, it's a 1. And I can continue that pattern just to make sure that my line's going to be straight. The first line looks something like this. y equals negative 3x plus 3. The second line is already set for you. It's already in slope y-intercept form. 
So we just need to go to negative 4 on the y-axis and up 1 over 2. And we might continue the pattern to get a nice straight line. And that would be y equals 1 half x minus 4. And you can see again that the two lines cross. And that is the solution to this problem. So that's at 2, negative 3. Therefore, the solution is 2, negative 3. That's the answer to this question. So example 3 changes a little bit. Example 3, um, the first equation is all set, so we go to 3. And because the slope is negative, we'd go down 1 over 1. So it would end up looking like this. The second equation, um, we need to rearrange the second equation. So we might leave the y term where it is and bring the 6 and the 2, the negative 6 and the 2, to the opposite side of the equation. So they change signs. And then we need to divide everything by 2. So we get y equals negative x plus 3. Now what you might have noticed, perhaps, when you look at the first equation and then we look at this equation, what you notice is that they are the same equation. Um, they were equivalent equations. So in the beginning, these are not identical to each other, but when we rearrange it, the second equation, we see that they actually are the same. So they're called equivalent equations. They actually give you the same line when you graph them. So if we were going to graph the second line, it would actually be right on top of the first line. Okay, so there's one line right on top of the other. So the question for this type of uh, problem is to ask you where the lines cross. So the answer would be that these lines actually, they cross everywhere, right? They cross, they touch everywhere. So our answer to this type of problem would be the solution is infinite. So that's just kind of a rare case that you have two lines that are actually identical to each other. So the second one looked like 2x plus 2y minus 6 equals 0. And therefore the solution is infinite when they are the exact same line on the graph. Example 4 is the last one. This is another kind of rare case, um, but it should be noted. The first equation is ready to go. So we would go to 3 on the y-axis and then up 2 over 1 and continue the pattern. So there is our first equation, y equals 2x plus 3. Now the second equation does need to be rearranged. So we can leave the y value where it is, move the x value and the 4 to the opposite side, divide everything by negative 1 so that we have a positive y, y equals mx plus b. So we have y equals 2x minus 4. Well, y equals 2x minus 4, we would go to negative 4 on the y-axis and then up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Because the slope is 2 over 1, if there's no run written there, it's always a 1. Now the issue with this one, why this is a little different, if I graph those nice and straight beside each other, they should look like parallel lines. This is y equals 2x minus 4. You can see from the two equations, each one had a slope of 2. And what happens then, they have different y-intercepts. So the y-intercepts don't have to be the same. But these now are parallel lines. That's a symbol for parallel lines. And because parallel lines never cross, when you're asked to tell me where do the lines answer is that they don't. Parallel lines should never cross. So how we answer this question would be to say, therefore, there is no solution. So those are the possibilities that you might see. You might see one ordered pair where the two lines cross. You might see two lines that actually are the same line where the solution is infinite. Or you might see two parallel lines. And in that case, there is no solution.